Iranian authorities announced the testing of the country's first ever hypersonic missile. Information about its development was first made public last fall. According to Amir Ali Hajizadeh, who is the commander of the IRGC Strategic Missile Forces, the missile will be presented to the general public next month, it is capable of reaching speeds of up to Mach 15. During the flight in the atmosphere and space, the rocket actively maneuvers. As a result, it can break through any air defense system. As you know, in addition to Russia, Iran and the DPRK like to boast of having a Wunderwaffe. In any case, the technical characteristics announced by the IRGC VKS commander indicate that the new Iranian missile is superior to the Russian Zircon and Kinzel. The declared flight speed of the Zircon is Mach 9, while the Kinzel is Mach 12. The Iranian rocket is capable of going into space. This means that it can reach an altitude of 100 kilometers. Russian missiles are not capable of this. Thus, Iran, which has been under sanctions for decades, has managed to outmaneuver Russia at least in terms of verbiage. Last week, Iran unveiled a new ballistic missile called Kaibar or Korum's Har-4. It boasts an impressive range of 1,240 miles and has the capacity to carry warheads weighing over a ton. The development and deployment of such ballistic missiles raise concerns among the international community and contribute to regional tensions. During a live broadcast on state television, Iran showcased the newly unveiled ballistic missile, alongside a replica of the Al-Aqsa Mosque located in Jerusalem's old city. Our message to Iran's enemies is that we will defend the country and its achievements. Our message to our friends is that we want to help regional stability, Iran's defense minister, Mohammad Reza Ashtiani, said at the time, reported Reuters. Hypersonic missiles have emerged as significant advancements in military technology, and countries like Russia and China have been at the forefront of developing and deploying such weapons. Characterized by their exceptional speed, traveling at velocities greater than Mach 5, hypersonic missiles are extremely difficult to intercept. The United States has also been working on its hypersonic weapons programs. But, it has faced challenges and is somewhat behind other countries in this field. With China and Russia rapidly advancing their hypersonic missile programs, the US jumped on its own hypersonic capabilities by conducting a flight test in January. During the trial, a hypersonic scramjet missile was launched from a B-52 bomber, achieving speeds greater than Mach 5 and covering a distance of over 300 nautical miles. The test was part of a project known as the Hypersonic Air Breathing Weapons Concept, or HAWC, developed by the Air Force and the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. This month's flight added an exclamation point to the most successful hypersonic air breathing flight test program in U.S. history, Walter Price, an Air Force deputy for the HAWC program, 
said in a statement. In March, the US Air Force conducted a second test of its hypersonic weapon. However, there was a failure in transmitting the in-flight data during the test. Of course, it must be remembered that in addition to Russian analog munition weapons, there are no less Iranian analog munition weapons in the world, and together they compete only with the weapons of the DPRK. But in any case, according to the characteristics of the new weapons announced in Tehran, the maximum speed of the Iranian missile exceeds the capabilities of the Russian Dagger and Zircon missiles in particular, the declared parameter for the Dagger is up to Mach 12. And for the Zircon, about Mach 9. Moreover, the Iranian missile can go into space, that is, reach a height of at least 100 kilometers, which Russian developments are incapable of. And in this way, Iran, which has been under sanctions for decades, was able to easily bypass the Russian Federation, at least in silence. Of course, the issue of basing the missile remains in question, for example, it will be quite interesting if it is about launching this missile from a ground platform, because then Moscow's lag behind Tehran is generally catastrophic. At the same time, if we set aside sarcasm, the scenario according to which the Russian Federation transferred certain missile technologies to Iran remains quite realistic. And also, of course, threatening for the whole world, especially for the countries that Tehran officially promises to destroy at the first opportunity.